nice to be here on vacation, just sitting back, relaxing, got nothing to worry about at all. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Joe Don Jackson here is a pretty rare case of a background Cars character who doesn't really have a car pun jammed into his name somewhere. Although I will say, even though he doesn't have a car pun, Joe Don Jackson is still quite the unique name. He's also a pretty rare case of a car that I can't say I'm that big of a fan of. I don't know, just something about this guy I didn't really like when I first saw the pictures of him uh, on the 2021 poster. I don't know, just something about him I didn't really like. I think it might be the expression or the model, although I will say I'm glad that I recently got and reviewed Jimmy Lugwrench before Joe Don Jackson here, who I did quite like and he does share Joe Don Jackson's model. Usually though, when there's a car I'm a bit iffy on, I definitely end up liking them a whole lot more after I open them. A shame though that it's taken me an entire month to open this guy. And yes, exactly a month. The day I'm filming this is August 17th and I got him on July 17th. So I'm sorry Joe, it's not because I don't like you, I just had a bunch of other videos I had to get done first. But anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today I'm here on vacation outside taking a look at Joe Don Jackson. Usually when I'm on vacation here, I film the review inside, but I thought, you know what, this could be fun and different. You know, make a car that's not all, not all that interesting to me, a bit more interesting. You know, make the review a bit more interesting. I really do like Joe Don Jackson's artwork, even though I don't really like how the car itself looks. Although, having a sponsor called Poe Taters, that's absolutely incredible. Got the metal logo, new for 2021, and on the back, some other cars as seen in Cars 3, pit crew member Fillmore, Trainer Cruz, Aiden, Jimmy Cables, Murray Clutchburn, Ducky Fontelroy, and Pat Traxon. Now let's get this guy out of the package here. Let's take a look at him. Of course, since I am on vacation, I don't have any other cars to compare him to. But here he is out of the package, and uh, the roof of the car is weirdly sticky. Uh, it might just be because it's been out here in the heat for a little bit, but like, that's, why is that sticky? That is really weird. Definitely got an interesting expression. I think it looks a bit better than I first thought, although I don't really like how small the eye area is, honestly. Got his grill there. Whoop, headlights. Moving on to the side, the Poe Taters Garage and Gas logo. Number seven, Southern Special. Let's see, it looks like it says Macon County, Georgia. Mason, maybe it's pronounced. Got that classic Cars motor oil logo that we see all over the place. Seems like a bit of a paint blemish next to that, unfortunately. Number seven there on the roof with Joe Don Jackson written very nicely there. Moving on to the back, we once again have number seven, Southern Special, and this license plate reads A10-195. There is a look at his other side there. Just all the same things. And there is a look at the base. Really not all that much I can say about this guy. It's just a pretty average car in my opinion. Nothing against him, of course, and if you like him, obviously nothing against you. I just feel like he's pretty generic, and I would have liked to have seen, I don't know, maybe something a bit different, especially with the eyes there. I really did like Jimmy Lugrench, who uses his mold. So yeah, I hate when I have like an inconclusive review, but in the case of Joe Don Jackson, honestly, I don't really know what else to say for him. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and tune in next time when I review these three pine cones. Bye now.